Starting a business in the 1930s was risky, but Arthur Bowie saw it differently. It was about a year after the Depression started, and my grandfather was looking for a place to start a funeral home. Arthur and his business partner, Clarence Hackman, saw opportunity and started a legacy, a legacy of serving others. And so began in a lovely house on North 6th Street and later on Jefferson Street, their first funeral home in St. Charles, Missouri. And he visited towns all over uh, Missouri and Illinois and landed in St. Charles because it reminded him of the area he grew up in. St. Charles has grown up a lot since Arthur and his wife Viola moved here, but its strong sense of community remains. Community, it's one reason now four generations of Bowies have called St. Charles home. They used to tell me when I was a little girl, Lisa, it's not about you. It's about what we do in this community. The other reason the Bowies embraced St. Charles and the St. Louis region to honor and grow the legacy of service they began. And we learned as children that the importance of no matter what, you're there for families during their time of need. Arthur handed the reins to his son David, Lisa's dad, when he retired. John Bowie Devaney, Lisa's son, was young when his grandfather David died, but was greatly impacted by the Bowie history. Lisa and John are now at the helm of Bowie Funeral Homes, Crematory, and Cemetery. The Bowie family and their staff have a legacy of bringing new innovations that improve their services to their families. They had the first on-site chapel in the county, and they started the first crematory and cremation center located in a funeral home in the region. We've listened to the needs of our families, and we've also thought of new ways of serving them. Bowie now has three funeral homes, plus the St. Charles Memorial Gardens, Bowie offers a flower and gift shop, monuments and markers, the silver and gold 60 plus social club. We offer the widest variety of choices and options for families. Bowie could have grown in locations throughout Missouri. Instead, they chose to offer innovative service options in the St. Charles and St. Louis region and focus on hiring the right people. When a family comes in, they truly make them feel like they're part of their family and the compassion and the caring that they give to that family is what really sets us apart from other firms. The staff takes time to listen before creating a unique and meaningful celebration of life, down to smallest details. Our staff will help families think of things that maybe they haven't thought of. That same staff is also on the front lines of Bowie's commitment to the greater community. It's a tradition that started with Arthur and Viola. They had food and clothing drives in their funeral home. He helped start the first Salvation Army in St. Charles County. Nowadays, there is seldom a week of the year when the Bowie funeral homes aren't doing something for others. It really is a mission here. It's not just a business. Bowie is much more than a business. Bowie is a part of the community. And as the community evolves, Bowie is there to meet the changes. Arthur Bowie would be proud if he saw all that Bowie has become, but he would perhaps be most honored to see what has stayed the same. I hear a lot of families thanking us for our, our kindness and helping them through the most difficult time in their life and helping them make it easy for them. We will always continue to deliver the very best in services for our families through the compassion and the caring and understanding of our staff.